आगे ब्लू भी है पिंक है येलो पाकिस्तान on the border of Iran. Um and it's a province that we weren't able to we weren't able to visit on this trip because we ran out of time. Uh but that's why we wanted to visit this area. This is like mini Balochistan within Karachi. Um and so we're just going to walk around a little bit. There's one famous street which is very colorful. It's called Geragali. It's very colorful. It's very um picturesque and so that's what we're going to walk down. Um and just kind of see what happens here. Liari town is one of the 18 constituent towns of Karachi known as Little Balochistan. Just a few years ago, Liari was a war zone, ruled by gangs and known for its brutal violence and unrest. But recently things have changed. We wanted to visit Liari for one because I didn't have a chance to visit Balochistan on my trip to Pakistan, and for two in our very short visit to share a story of people, hope, and those making a difference. I believe the old name is called Baghdadi Street but now it's called Kiran Gali Street and it's a colorful alley only walking in motorcycle uh lane but you just see the the buildings they've taken an initiative to to take pride in their neighborhood to color to paint beautiful bright colors it's very colorful very vibrant and beautiful actually so we're just going to walk down the street bicycle pump attached to a horn he bumps the bicycle pump and that just blows the horn so that lets the entire community here know that he's selling bread uh for the day okay we're jumping into a rickshaw we're on our way to this food street which i think is called mombasa street um but rickshaw is the best way to get there oh he came with us too i think we met him in that colorful neighborhood He's joined. Hey, how are you guys back there? Man, you're yeah, the Liari boys. The Liari boys. Yeah. yeah. Man. It's great when we just casually drive down the wrong side of the road intentionally. <laughs> You just got to be careful you don't hang out too far <laughs> or you're whoa Hello Hello Yes just on their way to school Oh man this is an amazing little ride through mini Balochistan Okay, rickshaw rides are always fun and entertaining. Uh we got off in a more busy area of this region or of this um district and we're going to there's there's a busy food stall that we're going to check out. Wow, look at these pomegranate seeds. Assalamu alaikum. Sir, sir, and like now, Muruk ke naam paya, aur kadi. Yeah, this is the spot. Sir, I'm here in Jammu. All the best. Oh, yeah, see, Pakistani. Ba, what are you doing? Hey, where are you going? Tam bhai. Oh, kadi ke naam. We stopped at a stall, a little restaurant on the side of the road and this is a very popular spot. Lots of people are eating breakfast here. Ek chana, kanda chana lagta hai. Ye lagta hai. Ya khana sir aap ha khana sir aap bedo na bade. Yani kitar yaar kitar yahan baithe khana. Acha ya. He's serving a local breakfast uh but in this area of mini Balochistan. Um and so he has chana which is the chickpeas and then he also has paya which is a cow hoof, cow foot in this version it's cow foot stew. Um and he's about to serve us. 
जी सर ओके सर भाई लोग बैठेंगे ना फिर इनको रोटी देना रहती जाएगा ऑल द बेस्ट नाइस मेरा भाई सर हाथ के लिए सर हमने खाना लगा चुके सर एक घंटा भाई पाकिस्तानी स्पेशल The very special. Wow! What a master! Another just ultimate skillful. Wow! That looks awesome. He made us three different dishes, and they're like special dishes. One is the egg with the chana with the chickpeas. One is the the nali, which is the bone marrow. Which he took that bone. I didn't even know what he's gonna do, and then he just he hit it. He punched out the marrow into the plate. Um, and then one kind of dal. And this is something I haven't had so far. Just a loaf of bread. Whoa, very crusty loaf of bread. I'm gonna try the paya first, and these. I don't even know what that. Oh, that looks like tendon. It looks like tendon. That looks like a lump of skin, um, and then the the um, marrow should just be floating around all in here. I should grab whatever that chunk is. Oh wow, that's like wow, that's oily and just like meaty. Oh, and there's a little bit of china in here too. Whatever I picked up looks pretty gelatinous. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Gelatinous would be the way to describe that, and I got a little like toe bone in, in that bite. That's good though. You can taste the bread just absorbs all of that desi ghee and that flavor. You taste the chilies in there. It's mild, but it's like a very warming, very kind of oily, very heavy, very rich, and you can really taste the ghee in that. Okay, next I'm gonna try the the um, chickpeas and the egg. Break into oh, here's a nice little oh, there's a chili in there too. Okay, grab that chili. Whole chili with the egg, with some of that chickpea stew. And just remove that stem. Mm, mm. That's a good combination because you got the creamy yolk plus the creaminess of the chickpeas, and again, the ghee wrapping it up. That one is like a classic breakfast. It's just like warm and comforting. Okay, and final dish we got is a, a type of dal. And again, you can see that ghee. Um, and I'm gonna dip this into the chutney provided. It looks like kind of a like watery, kind of yogurty uh, chutney with a little bit of herb in it. Mm. The chutney kind of brightens it up, kind of like refreshes the mouth, along with the like richer stew. Good. It's a very crispy bird. Yeah, the bread is nice and crusty. Very crispy, very nice and crispy. And one one shot from Bark. Shukriya, shukriya. Thank you, man. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shukriya. That was a delicious breakfast. He's such a friendly man. Um, again, he did not want to charge us for breakfast, and that just shows his kindness, his hospitality. Um, but yeah, what a what an amazing place, a little stall, and that's a, a heavy 
and rich, rich breakfast. This area, especially formerly, was known as a, not a very safe area, actually quite a dangerous area in Karachi. It's an area that's um, very friendly, it's an area that has a lot of character and it represents Balochistan, which is a region of Pakistan that's very less traveled, very less visited. And so part of the reason that Ali and I wanted to come check this neighborhood out and just um, explore it a little bit is just because to show that the, the people are here are so welcoming, so friendly, and that things are really improving in this neighborhood, in this community within Karachi, the city within a city in Karachi. And just being able to see the colorful street, uh, you know, people taking initiative to take pride in their neighborhood, and then the amazing man who we met who was who just served us breakfast. Thanks, Ali and Sharu. You for me, it was first time to Liari, and I think it's amazing. This place has a very rich and distinctive character, and I think everybody, especially people from Karachi, you should come here. Yeah. Cool.